warning. Awesome content ahead. The following video may cause choking if watched while eating or drinking. Viewer discretion is advised. Now that the warning is out of the way, sit back, relax and enjoy the show. Good evening, Otter Creek FL and the Shady Bunch members and DJ Radis supporters. Tonight we have the exclusive interview with Miss Lai, Net, Caritos, Griffey, Barber, Bennett, Clara, Wilson, Mia, Lacey, Jackson, Fleetwood, Sloan, Bonnie, Grifter, Michelle, Spacey, Lacey, Preston's attorney, Joshua Silverfish. Hello, Mr. Joshua Silverfish. Thank you for giving up your time to be on this show. Why? Well, thank you for having me on this brilliant program. You know, all my family watches the show. Do you mind me saying hi to mom and dad? Hi, mom. Hi, dad. Look at me, I'm famous. We are going to start off with all the questions tonight the viewers have been mailing us. So for starters, why did you actually agree to take on Lionette's case when everyone else said no? Wouldn't that have thrown up red flags? Almost certainly it did. However, be it if she wins or loses, I still get paid. Money talks and grifters walk. I told her the basic retainer was $7,000, and to be honest, that was run dry after the second court hearing I was there for. She currently has her internet friends paying weekly amounts to cover the costs. So do you actually think she stands a chance to win now that the dishonorable Judge C.D.'s nuts, Thomasus, is no longer looking out for you or her on the case? Off the record, she never stood a chance to begin with. Her stories and claims have more holes in it than a spaghetti strainer. But again, I'm getting paid, so what do I care? Another question a viewer wants to know is, how do you manage to listen to her off-pitch, ear-piercing voice for hours on end when she is telling you what happens every day? I don't actually listen. I have earbuds and listening to white noise. It masks the horrible noise that comes out of her mouth. This one day, my earbuds weren't working, and I heard about how her Facebook law team had written up some scheme to try and bury Jeremy after they used ChatGPT to supposedly write case files from other cases. None of them were actual real cases. I had to tell her I'm the one with the law degree, and if she wanted to continue to retain me as counsel, that she would have to stop with the bullcrap. So without breaking lawyer-client confidentiality, are you able to mention who are the bogus Facebook law team you spoke of? Of course I can, due to them actually not being true lawyers and none of them actually wishing to be her witnesses. The first one is Marla Hugebutt, Victoria Munnitface, Paul Hemorrhoids, Judith Can't See the Truth, Arthur Wiggly Balls, Heather Menstruation, Steve Pest, and the team who want to be superhero David. So none of them have any law degrees other than Google and ChatGPT, and they are practicing law. Isn't there some sort of law against that? There is, but it's not my circus, not my monkeys. Can you answer me this? Did you tell Lynette that she could go to the Otter Creek Town Hall meeting with her TPO and ignore the CPO both Jeremy and George have on her and Mr. Crook, as she claimed to the sheriff deputies that showed up that night at the meeting? No, I didn't, but I do have to thank her for doing so. I'm confused. Why do you need to thank her? Well, she has now made me a witness in the case. I can no longer represent her anymore, nor can my law firm as it would be a conflict of interest. She has to go find a new lawyer, get a new retainer, or continue the case representing herself. She did the same crap to attorney Mark Feather, forcing himself to remove himself and become a witness. Regardless if I'm her attorney or not, she still owes me money. I've got to get paid. Moving right along, let me ask you about your relationship with the dishonorable judge C. D's Nuts Thomasus. He was the judge in your divorce case, wasn't he? So what kickbacks do you give him for ruling in your favor all the time? The dishonorable judge C. D's Nuts Thomasus and I often go on dinner dates together. We go to the Regal Movie Theater in Gainesville and get those big chairs where the armrests lift up so we can snuggle. We have to keep our lives professional when the lights are on, but when they are turned off or dimmed, we can proceed to advance our relationship on a more personal level. Oh, that kind of relationship, huh? Can we actually get that last question and my answer removed? I don't want that going public. Let me be childish for a minute here. Joshua and Craig sitting in a tree, K-I-S-S-I-N-G. First comes the love, then comes the scandal, then comes the federal investigation. That was very unprofessional from your level. You should never make jokes about our love. Sorry, not sorry, just a few more questions. Going back to the whole line side of things. Has she ever offered you alternative payments? It's rumored a lap dance and a twirl on a corn stalk pole was on the table at one stage. If the rumor was true, did you accept it? I plead the fifth. Well, that's about all the time we have left tonight. Thank you, Mr. Silverfish, for coming on the show. Next week, we are going to try and reach out to some of Lynette's Facebook legal team and get their insight on this case. Remember to hit subscribe if you haven't already. More than 50% of the viewers aren't subscribed yet. It's free and really helps DJ Raddus push out more content. Leave a comment below. Share this video on all social media platforms. Let's help DJ Raddus hit the next goal of 5,000 subscribers. Come join DJ Raddus on Facebook. Search for Otter Creek FL and The Shady Bunch. There you will find more funny videos and memes and be able to keep updated on everything Otter Creek.